Uh, would you buy a flood car to fix and drive? Bro, I was just talking about this. <laughs> so I went and looked at a 20, I think it was the 2013, the guy, the car that the guy earlier had, a 2013 S4 manual. And it was like super cheap. And I'm like, oh, it's a flood car. It was after the, that huge hurricane. Well, I went to look at it. It was cheap. It had like 28,000 miles. And they had gotten rid of all the smell. They had like remediated all the stuff. But anywhere there was a bearing on the bottom of that car, like transmission, uh, drive shaft, rear differential, you could just feel like you, it needed a new car. So I passed on it. No. And I would not in any way ever recommend no. buying a flood car. I would buy a wrecked car. I would buy... A lot of other things, I would not buy a flood car because the water gets in, the salt gets in, and the whole is less than the sum of its parts. So a car costs more to buy in parts than it does as the car. So if you have to replace stuff, and on a flood car eventually, like you said, the, the, essentially will have to replace nearly everything. The other issue is the way that salt can get in and affect the paint, like it can rust from the inside out like 20 years down the road. There's all sorts of things that you don't know. I, I might buy a car that was flooded 20 years ago because then it has a proven track record of, okay. If someone else spent the $68,000 oh, yeah, yeah, on the yeah, yeah. $48,000 car. Right, I'm no, like, that had been repaired. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. I wouldn't Maybe. buy one now and be like, oh yeah, I'm going to get a deal and fix it because yeah. I, I don't know what's lurking underneath and what problems I'm going to run into down the road. Yeah, I looked at a theft recovery car that had been swung into a tree, and that seemed like a much better idea. <laughs> it was a Ferrari, too. <laughs> and I was like, you know, I can see where the frame was bent, so at least I know. I, I passed. But no, I would avoid a flood like, like the plague. Like an actual... You, plague it, that it, it is. Yeah. It's it highly is. likely that if you buy one that you will end up underwater. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, I would uh, honestly watch this podcast just for those, just for those. They don't stop. <laughs>